Preparation is key, as I'm out there alone. I'm meticulous about details, as knowing my body and what it needs enables me to perform. So there are four patches we're going to put on. So what they're doing is they're actually collecting the amount of salt that you lose in your sweat. So we're also going to be doing some hydration testing, so pre and post weighing to look at your sweat rate, so we know how much you sweat and also what type, what the concentration is of your sweat. We will work with Richard to help him establish the optimal fluid and electrolyte strategy needed to maintain his performance over a prolonged period of time so he can push himself to the absolute limit. <laughs> so I'm just making sure we're all set up and running. We're going to get you walking at a steep gradient. Nice. Uh, probably about seven kilometres an hour. Probably the speed at which you simulate what you're going to be travelling at on the ice. Actually, can I, uh, can I go six, please? Six, yeah. Yeah, that's a bit of a number that keeps popping up in my maths, okay. in my strategy, so six, six yeah. Five. Thanks. Five. Managing my body in the world's most hostile environments is tough. There are many challenges working against me. One of them is knowing what I need, because I physically have to carry everything. We're assessing Richard's fluid and electrolyte loss in conditions which mimic the Antarctic environment in which he'll be performing in. An athlete's response to extreme environmental conditions is individual. It is important that Richard understands his body's bespoke reaction to the cold and altitude during the challenge. Understanding the physiological stresses my body has put through on the ice and how I can maintain function throughout my expedition are both key to my performance.